All right. So let's talk about compound interest. And this is, believe it or not, a, a compound interest, again, you won't really see. Because banks and other loaning, actually, you'll see it if you're saving money. So if you put money into a bank, into a savings account, they will comp you as a compound interest loan because it's to their benefit not to give you more money. If you take out a loan, generally, they will compound the interest monthly or something to like that or semi-annually, meaning twice a year. Uh, credit cards all do it monthly, so they make more money. That's the way they're set up. It's a money-making business. That's what they do. It's a scheme. So compound interest. The first thing you got to remember is the formula is a little different. If you write the formula down and if you identify each component, compound interest is super easy because you're just putting parts into a into a formula, right? If you fail to identify the parts and you rush that calculator, you're going to end up getting it wrong. It, the calculator is going to get you in trouble because you're going to start typing in stuff. It's going to give you an answer, and you're going to go with it. So let's look at this. So what is the formula for compound interest? It's on your yellow sheets. Gavin, what's the formula for compound interest? A equals P uh, times 1 plus 1 plus R equals P times 1 plus R equals P. So to the power of time. Oh, yeah the power of time. So here we've got a loan for $5,000 for two years at a rate of 15%. Pretty good loan, right? Not bad. Not bad. That'll pay for your college yeah. if you go to a decent school and you work hard. Absolutely. So what is loan amount? What's that $5,000? What does that equal? So that's our P. How about the two years? That's our T. And lastly, the interest rate is our? R. So let's fill in the parts from this program or this formula that we know. We don't know A. That's what we're looking for, right? What's P is 5,000 times 1 plus R, which is 15%. And in decimals, you move that two places. And you come up with 0.15. Close the parentheses to the power of time, which is 2. Now, type that into your calculator. Yes, sir? Well, let everyone get it, too. What does the 2 stand for, the power of 2? The power, it's to the second power. You're squaring it. All right. Okay, I got it. All right, so how much did you get, Chris? Uh, 6, so A equals $6,612. And remember, it's not 0.5. We've got money. 0 0.50. Money's always to two decimal places. It'll be a common trick problem. Look out for it. Uh, on those things where they make you fill in the bubble sheet, if you see them doing money, make sure you've got two decimals after it because that's generally what they're looking for is you mess that up. So now, that's the total, right? A is total amount. So we can now figure fin it, fill in total. So the total is $6,612.50. How do we get the interest owned? Minus. Minus what? 5,000. Five so we're minusing 5,000 from the total. So to get our I, we're just going to minus 5,000 from this total. I got it. All right? What you got, Will? I got 612. Uh, you're a little off. What you got, Leah? 1,612. $1,612.50. Now, if you're the person who gave this loan to this person, you did really well, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, you you added one third to your money in two years. That is a good deal for you. Is it a good deal for the other person? Yeah. It depends. Loans are one of those things where it depends. There are going to come times in your life when you're going to need a loan. It is true. You just have to be smart about when those times are. Does that make sense? If you're going to college and you need a loan for $5,000, that's great. 
But don't get the loan and go out and buy an Xbox or whatever the newest toy is. Don't go buy a skateboard and spend all your money. I've watched that happen to kids. That's sad. Where they went out and bought all kinds of stuff, and then they had no money to finish college and a lot of bills. So let's look at number two here. Uh, today's are not really spread around. It says, Frito deposits $75 each year in account earning 3% interest, compounded annually. If he deposits additional $75 per year, how much interest will the account earn in the fourth year? So, how much does he have to start with? $75. 75 bucks. How much did he add to that? Nothing. That's the first year, right? Okay, what was the rate? And we're going across here, so 75. What is it? 0 0.03, which is pretty common for savings. The 0.3% and 4% are pretty common. So now, to get simple interest, and it looks like compounded, but it's not. It's actually, this is how, sim this is how compound interest is made. It's just simple interest calculated one year at a time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now put that in there. And since it's a one year, you're really you're looking at principal times rate. Ooh. So did, did you already do it? No. We'll do it. it. Y'all get it? Ellen, did you get it? Yes. So how much money do you make, Ellen? He made two dollars and twenty-five cents. Not huge, but seventy-five dollars. Not gonna get it. All right. So let's go to year two. How much does he start with? Seventy-seven dollars and twenty-five. How did you get seventy-seven dollars? Well, we gotta add it. Gotta yeah, add you added $2. this. Up. So you got seventy-seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Then what did he add to that? Another seventy-five dollars. Another seventy-five bucks. How much does he add now? Well, go ahead. Oh, $152.25. Okay, what's the rate this year? Same as it was before, right? All right, so calculate how much interest he makes now. How do you calculate it? You're doing, remember, this is just principal times rate. All right, what's our time on this line? It's just one year, right? Ben, what'd you get? Ben? Oh, uh, four dollars and fifty-six cents. Fifty-six cents. Now, remember, remember what I said before. Did it need to be rounded up? Yes. So it's four dollars and fifty-seven cents. Yes. I didn't do the. I didn't do my calculator on that one. Remember, if you look down this ending amount, what are you seeing? What's happening? They're adding two. Dollars. They're increasing kind of by a certain rate, aren't they? Mm -hmm. There will always be a pattern in these. Look for that pattern. It will tell you if you're wrong. So how much starting money does he have now? $156.82. $156.82. How much is he adding to that? $75. $75. So what does that give him? $231.82. And 82. Wesley's going to be a banker. I can see he likes money. The rate stays the same, 0 0.03, so $231.82 times the rate. You get it, Raiden? How much did you make this year, Raiden? Did you do this one? 231.82 times 0 0.03. Go ahead, what'd you get? 6 point what? 6.9546. So $6.95. Are they roughly still rising in kind of a pattern you can see? And you'll notice as the interest rises, the amount added gets to be a little bigger each time because it's all making interest on interest. So now we add that 695 back to the 231.82. What do we get, Will? We get 163.7. No. No. 
What'd you get? 238.77. And we add 75 bucks to it. How much does that give us? 238.77 plus 75 bucks? 313.77. 313.77. The rate is still the same. So now we multiply 313.77. John, you doing that? So 313.77 times 0.3. What'd you get? 0.03. Uh, like right. What'd you get, Chris? Nine dollars and forty-one cents. So this is what the question asked was how much interest did he make in the fourth year, right? He made nine dollars for. Do you see the progression as it moves through? Each year now, picture this is seventy-five thousand dollars, and how much he'd be making. Oh my! Nine hundred and forty-one. Yeah, he he'd be picking up cash good at a certain point. There is a point, and it's funny, and you'll see it as you do these things. There's a point where your money just spirals and goes fast up. If you can reach that point, the money goes. Let's look at this. One deposited $850 into a college savings account, earning 4.8% interest compounded annually. He also deposited $850 into a second account, earning 4.8% simple interest. After 10 years, which account earned more interest? What do you think it's going to be? Simple. Well, let's look at it. Let's go ahead and do this. So $850 in the first one is compounded annually, right? So that one is A equals... What's the formula for compound? P. P times 1 plus R to the power of T. Let's fill in the parts. What's P? 850. 1 plus the rate, which is? 0 0.048 times the time, which is? T for both of them is? 10 years. So, do the math. Does that say 850 right there? 850 times 1 plus 0 0.048 to the 10th. Catch, did you get it? Uh, What'd you get, Will? I got $1,358.41. $58.41. Okay, so the question asks, which account earned more interest? So we've got to subtract our principal from this, right? What was our principal? 850. 850. So subtract the 850 from that. What does I equal, Wesley? 508 and 41 cents. So that's on that. Now let's go to the next one, simple interest. Pretty much same statistics, simple interest. So what's the formula for simple interest? Well, that one's great because it gives us I right up. I equals principal times rate times time. We already marked them all out, right? So 850 times... 0 .048 0 .048 times 10. ten. So do the math. What'd you get, Chris? Four hundred and eight dollars. Which made him more money? Was it a significant amount more? No, it was only $100. Only 
Uh, but on our scale of 850, is that not pretty significant? That actually is. That's one eighth more on top, right? Mm -hmm. If you take a compound interest loan, you'll pay more. If you get a compound interest savings, you earn more money than you would just putting in at a simple interest. If you compound it more than annually, uh, it gets to be exponentially more from that. Does that make sense? So that's compound interest. Any questions? Makes you, hopefully it scares the credit out of you for away from credit cards. I don't want to do credit cards anyway. I want debit. They have values. Yeah. That's why you go borrow your dad's money and then pay him back because he don't give you interest. Um. Yeah. Why. Borrowing money from relatives always ends bad. I'll just leave that at that. That's worse yeah. than the other options. Um, All right. I'm going to teach you